government whose good health depends greatly on the care it gets from others. Hi. Hi, how are you today? Can I help you? Yes, I'm here for my appointment with Dr. Cruz. And what's the kitty here for? The kitty seems to have a little cold. Oh, you get a cold. Cats depend on humans tremendously. They're so domesticated that they can go out, catch themselves a, a bird or a mouse, something such as that. But they uh, are to the point where they can't survive in the wild. Cats suffer many of the same types of ills as humans. Cancer, heart disease, AIDS, obesity. Their human caretakers can help safeguard their pets from most, but not all, of these problems. Open your mouth. Big titties. But sometimes, an owner's good intentions can have a negative effect. Because of their domestication, many house cats have a problem that few of their wild relatives share. Improper diet and obesity. We show our love for our cats by feeding them well, giving them treats, sneaking them people food on occasion. Good boy. Good boy. A typical weight for a female cat is going to be probably eight pounds, a little bit heavier for a female. A cat that's overweight is much more prone to getting arthritis, heart problems, liver problems. If they have to go under anesthesia, they're not a good surgical risk because of all that extra weight. If you try and put a cat on a starvation diet or try to get it to go on a diet, when they're overweight and they're very obese, their liver goes through certain changes that that starvation diet will actually cause them to go into liver failure. The wrong kind of cat food can be harmful. Believe it or not, one of Kitty's favorite meals, fish-flavored cat food, could lead to problems. Reason being is that cats are prone to getting a particular condition known as FUS, feline neurological syndrome. And it's a syndrome, so a lot of different things add into the problem. But fish-flavored foods in particular are very high in ash and magnesium, can cause problems for the little bladders. They can actually get a blockage in their urinary tract, and it can be fatal for some of them. If you think a vegetarian diet for your cat is a good idea, Think again. Cats are carnivores. Certain amino acids found only in meat are necessary for their survival. Cats are territorial creatures. They will fight to protect their turf. An aggressive cat will not hesitate to take on an opponent twice its size. The resulting injuries can lead to infections or even death. Experts agree that keeping a cat primarily indoors can greatly increase its lifespan. But dangers lurk indoors as well. Everyday items around your home could be harmful to a cat. Even though they are meat eaters, cats need to eat certain green plants such as grass. However, some house plants can cause gastrointestinal problems. These and other household hazards can be easily avoided. Good advice is as close as the nearest veterinarian. Another way to prolong the life of a cat and at the same time prevent the suffering of unwanted cats. Veterinarians agree that unless a cat is owned specifically for breeding purposes, it should be neutered. The procedure can now be safely performed on cats as young as six weeks, not months, weeks. By neutering your pet, you're not going to have to worry about, for instance, having a male cat that wants to mark its territory as much. You're not going to have to worry about having that female go into heat and caterwaul all night, keeping you awake. You're not going to have to worry about the male wanting to get out and get into cat fights. That exposes them to all sorts of diseases like leukemia and feline AIDS.
cat owners spend about four billion dollars a year on veterinary services when serious medical problems arise facilities like the all care animal clinic in fountain valley california provide health care services that rival hospitals for humans Magnetic resonance imaging is an effective alternative to x-ray. We can look at the brain for hydrocephalus or water on the brain or tumors. Uh, maybe the cat's walking funny, disoriented, circling. Those would be indications that would be necessary. And in some cases, ultrasound can be used instead of exploratory surgery. The ultrasound is especially good for being able to look inside and seeing the, the structure of movement and texture differences, possibly avoiding exploratory surgery. It's good for looking at the function of the cardiac, the muscle, how the valves work. I'm just listening to the aorta right now. Sometimes health problems are breed specific. A Manx cat is undergoing surgery to remove a cyst from its spine. A Manx is bred to have no tail. This characteristic is in itself a genetic defect of the spine. Because of this, Manx cats are also prone to these types of cysts. I am not wanting my pill. I do not want my pill. Got it. Cats need regular veterinary checkups. Okay. But dog owners are twice as likely as cat owners to bring their pet in for a yearly exam. Cats are more reclusive and are viewed as being more independent. They also will hide signs of illness, a throwback to the wild so as not to appear vulnerable to predators. Just like their human companions, cats need regular dental care. Plaque and tartar buildup can lead to a myriad of health problems. Bacteria from the mouth can affect a cat's liver, kidneys, joints, heart muscle. Just like you, a cat should have its teeth cleaned on a regular basis. It's clear that humans can have a tremendous impact on the health of their cats. Consequently, cats can have quite an effect on the health of humans. Over six million people suffer from allergies to cats. About a third of those are cat owners. The most common types of reactions we see with uh, cat allergy is the ones we associate with hay fever. The stuffy nose, the drippy nose, the sneezing watery eyes can be much more serious. It can progress on to bad asthma attacks and uh, difficulty breathing. A common misconception is that long-haired cats cause more allergic reactions than short-haired varieties. But it's not the cat's hair that causes the allergies. It is a protein present in their saliva. When a cat grooms itself, this protein dries and becomes airborne. When this dander is inhaled, it can cause the human immune system to overreact cat dander is everywhere. The protein is only one-tenth the weight of common house dust and hangs in the air for a very long time. This protein has been found in areas where a cat has never been. Most people will get rid of their doctor before they get rid of their cat. And uh, what we need to do in those cases is teach the people how to live with their cat in a way that uh, is tolerable for them and the cat. <laughs> You're a good cat. You really are. Good, very good. Sandy Blixton was diagnosed with AIDS in 1986. He lost his home, his job, and his companion. His doctor suggested that he give up his cat, Tara, fearing the cat could spread opportunistic diseases. Sandy found a friend who was willing to take her. Oh, yes, that was a breeze. I didn't realize how important she was to me until I did give her up. I found that I wasn't sleeping at night. 
I found that I was actually looking for her all the time. It's like a, a, a companion who had passed away and you can't believe they're gone. You call the name out, they're, they're gone, there's no answer. And I started to go downhill. I really started to feel bad. And I started to get sicker and sicker and uh, not respond to the medications as I had been. As his health continued to deteriorate, Sandy's doctors finally agreed that he could get Tara back. He got assistance from an organization called Pause LA, which helps AIDS patients keep and care for their pets. Immediately, Sandy's health began to improve. Yes, yes, good girl, good girl. Cat did give me something to live for. Um, she gave me she gave me something to go on. She gave me someone to come home to at night. And she gave me someone to say hello to in the morning again. It's a symbiotic relationship, that of a person and a cat each able to benefit the health and well-being of the other. And if you don't believe it, it's as plain as a smile on a face. Cats. Minister of Sodom, he is the law. And the Helamite? You had already defeated their army, but you let loose the waters of the dam, destroyed them, massacred them. In the name of righteousness and your God, you have abandoned yourself to the lust for blood. You are a true sodomite lot. Welcome. No. No. Just look at your Hebrews lot. Look at them. Next only to the pleasure of giving death is the excitement of watching it. They were participants in every bloody moment. You have converted the chosen people up. Even kids as young as four can use Flonase. As much money as people spend keeping their cats healthy, they spend even more trying to keep them happy. Who's to say whether this conspicuous consumption is really for the benefit of the cats or the owners? The business of cats is a curious thing. Each year, Americans spend about $4 billion on cat food alone. That's roughly $1 billion more than they spend on baby food. But the buck doesn't stop there. Many cat lovers think nothing of plunking down their dollars on countless items. Everything from the ordinary to the extraordinary. someone from outer space were to look at the way we treat our pets they would say oh that that is a god that we don't call it that in, in our society but they would think well that's a pretty special um, creation that they're treating him that way and giving them all the best humans relate on a human level so it's very natural for them to take their own behaviors their own wants and desires and transfer them onto a, a cat or a dog We have these great litter box covers if you don't like the way your litter box looks. 